Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got lots of big news, in particular, Ethereum closing out the month at new all-time highs. Massive bullish signs in the charts for Ethereum. And we're gonna take a look at the breakout on Bitcoin. Plus, we've got a lot of big news on Ethereum and that is spilling over into Solana as well. Also, at the end of this video, I've got a May trading challenge, which is kindly sponsored by Blockfolio. Now, all of the winnings are going towards charity. So there's 25 grand up for grabs here for the winners and the losers, which I'll explain a little bit more in detail at the end of the video. So stick around for that. So if you are interested to stick around for the challenge and the news ongoing, hit the like button down below. Let us know that you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel, doing those the wrong way around. Bell notification icon. Let's get into it. Starting at the fear and greed index, we are now into the greedy space. We're starting to climb back into those 70s, which we saw just a few weeks ago and last month at 74. So even yesterday, we we're at neutral. Last week was fearful. It's surprising how quickly the market can change. Looking at the coin market cap, we are now sitting at $2.2 trillion. This is basically at an all time high yet again, if not a few bucks off, but Honestly, it's very surprising seeing us at a new all-time high for the total crypto market cap when Bitcoin isn't still at its all-time high. This is quite strong, but you know my position, we're still looking for a particular level for massive confirmation. We have seen some very solid confirmation on Bitcoin yesterday as it broke through its swing top and closed above its previous swing from last week, which we'll take a look at later on after we get through some of the news. Ethereum is edging ever so closely to $2,900 and obviously getting very close to 3,000. 3,000 is our first target, then three and a half thousand. We're not very far off that now. And I think after hearing this news, I definitely see this going a lot further, especially Ethereum. You know, this is my own safe moon. It's safely taking us to the moon, moon without pump and dumps in between. It has been a very solid project since the low back in 2020. Now, Dogecoin has flipped Cardano Cardano, even after the Africa special, it just hasn't seen the same sort of gains that a lot of these top 10 projects have. Ethereum is looking very strong. Ethereum price closes April above record high of 2,800. Second largest cryptocurrency closes up there. Now, why I think this is happening is probably it's going to start leading into the news of the next network upgrade. So Ethereum's run of good fortunes has several potential causes, including steady progress towards a faster, cheaper Ethereum 2.0. So a lot of people saying, you know, when will this ever happen? But the same could be said for Cardano. It still doesn't have smart contracts, whereas Ethereum, everything is getting built for Ethereum and other smart contract projects are making ramps to Ethereum. They're making gateways to it. Ethereum's not making gateways out of Ethereum. Everyone's still making gateways in towards Ethereum. So this is coming in July network update and this could help reduce gas fees and drive up price. More bullish news for Ethereum. Ethereum moves towards ETH 2.0 with super experimental testnet. So the testnet is called Steklo, is a short-lived testnet designed to demonstrate one method for maintaining a proof of stake network. So this is basically going to help demonstrate ETH 1 to ETH 2 post merge test network. So very experimental. They do know things will go wrong on this, but it's not the chain. It's just the test network. And so this is going to help bring in ETH 2.0 uh, later this year. Steklo is going to be a short lived test net and a longer running test net is due out next week, according to Ethereum Foundation. Stable coins on Ethereum doubled in quarter one, thanks to DeFi. So DeFi obviously on Ethereum, this is giving Ethereum more and more stability in the market, especially uh, as we move towards ETH 2.0, which we've talked about already, and just continuing to increase the price. So there's still more being built on ETH. It's just more and more good news. Staking giant Lido looks to bring services to Solana. Infrastructure provider Chorus One believes they can help Lido corner 25% of all staked salt. Now, bringing this up with Ethereum as well, obviously, I love Solana here, and I think most of you are starting to get into it as well, so, uh, learning about it and researching it. One of the largest ETH 2.0 and Terra staking services is now looking to expand to other proof of stake chains, starting with Upstart Layer 1, Solana. So one of the largest ETH 2.0 is coming to Solana as well. This is looking pretty decent. And so if you've got such a big company looking to buy up a ton of a coin so they can then stake it, 
taking supply off the market. I think this is really, really bullish. And I think this may be the news as to why the price has risen so hard with so much volume over the last few weeks since it hit its low after the dump at $21, now sitting at around $42, $43. So Lido's at $24 million market cap. And yes, it's only 1% supply out there. I need to do more research on this. Maybe that there is a staking uh, some vesting coming out later this year. I believe the CEO or the founders have about 64% locked up, which could be released in the next 12 months. So that could really put some dampener on the price. Fully diluted is 2.7 billion. So that's something to pay attention to as well. MicroStrategy is Bitcoin holding reach $5 billion. Just keeping a note of how much these companies are actually holding. Michael Saylor obviously says he won't be selling his Bitcoin. But who knows, if this thing goes another 10x and he has $50 billion and the company's only worth one or two billion, you've got to really weigh something up there. Uh, this company wasn't worth anywhere near that amount um, you know, a year or two ago before he was buying Bitcoin. Kevin Leary added again, talking about Bitcoin, citing that he believes that institutions are now trying to figure out, is it a currency? Is it an asset? Is it a property? So he believes that this is more of the institutions coming in. Now, I'll take it with a grain of salt because even just a few months ago, Kevin Leary was not interested in buying Bitcoin. Now he's buying Bitcoin. Now he's even talking about Ethereum, saying Bitcoin's better than Ethereum, or at least it's not going to flip it. So I think this is just like a lot of big names talking about crypto, which leads me to believe it's not we're not going anywhere now. Crypto is here to stay. After 2017, it was still a bit shaky and we had to have the belief in 2019 to be buying that low in, in January. And now with a lot of these big names in it, yes, they can be playing the market, you know, putting million dollar bets on whether Ethereum and Bitcoin are going to have better returns than the S&P 500 in the next 10 years, which is what this article is about. So I think it's here to stay, but it's also they're playing their own game within the market, like we're seeing with Elon Musk pumping up uh, Dogecoin, which literally has nothing being built on it. If you want to know more about crypto and you want to do some more research on it, follow the guys on Twitter, not necessarily myself, but other guys who are doing hours and hours and hours of research into specific projects. That's where you're going to get a lot of the great information from. That's where I pull a lot of my stuff from as well. If you like, follow me. I do often repost stuff that I've found and that's going to save you a lot of time as well. All right, onto the charts. Bitcoin is now popping out above $58,000. This was the first swing that we were looking at, plus the 50% level, plus this region here, which was finding slight support before we had the final dump. So now that we're over these levels of the 56,000, and we had one, two, and the 50% level here, this is looking quite good. I would like to see more volume in this move above the 50% level, but nonetheless, this is still looking pretty positive for us to overtake the $60,500 level, which is my main target here. We want to get above this scare bar. This was the bar that scared out the market on that Sunday, the 18th of April, before we ended up obviously following that massive dump. Ethereum closed out the month at all-time highs. This was the price at... $2,727, so $2,727. I thought it was closer to 28, possibly on another exchange, but we've got Coinbase uh, here that we're looking at and we just pushed again. Volume is starting to drop a touch. So let's stay in tune with this over the next 18 hours just to see if we can get this volume above yesterday's bar, especially as we break out. There has been a lot of talk out there on Ethereum and that in, in the mainstream as well. And often when that happens, we may see a top. So I'm a little bit wary unless we get a bigger follow through, more volume, and we find some support at these levels. I don't think we're going for a $1,200 or $1,400 ETH, so I'm not worried in that sense. Just I want to see better volume into the market. Now, the last crypto I want to go through is Solana because this is more of a pattern that I like, even though we have skyrocketed out of the lows at you know a dollar. We were only a dollar four months ago, five months ago, and now we're sitting at forty-three dollars. Uh, Solana, this is looking like good swings up. We're getting some consolidation here. Now we are at all-time highs, so the risk has increased a lot. You guys ask, am I buying Solana at these levels? Yes, I am prepared for falls. If we get the falls, that's fine. This is another one on my list that I want to hold long term. So I'm pretty cool with Athana, uh, Athana, with Solana as well. And, uh, you know, I've got my fibs on here looking at the levels. If it gets back to 35, yes, I'll buy more. I'll probably buy a little more here once I see uh, 
a signal that we're going to head higher rather than this accumulation because it's still possible that we head down a little further. But Solana is definitely high on my list, which brings me to the Blockfolio Challenge. So the Blockfolio Challenge is starting today on May 1st, 2021. We're going to finish on the 31st. Winners announced on the 1st of June. This is all sponsored by Blockfolio who are giving away $25,000. I've decided to be a part of this because I use Blockfolio every day. You guys see it on my Instagram. Go and follow my Instagram if you haven't already. I track my super fun portfolio over there. So you guys are keeping in touch with that. So they're giving this all the way to charity. Whoever gets first gets 20 grand and it's up to you guys. You get to decide who the money goes to. Third place gets five grand. So I've kept my portfolio pretty similar to my super fun portfolio, except I've added in Solana just as a little bit of a wild card in there as well to see what will happen in the month of May. And you know, from looking at my trades, I don't, I don't base things just on a month, but this is just for fun. Money goes to charity, all for good fun. But if you guys want to uh, join a Blockfolio and use that to track your portfolios, you can now trade on there as well. Uh, use the link in the description down below. Set yourself up with a Blockfolio account. They're also connected to FTX Exchange, which is another fantastic cryptocurrency exchange. They have uh, a lot of leverage trading as well. You know, I don't do a lot of that, if any, during a bull market, which we'll see in other videos, but they are a very good exchange. And uh, the CEO here, Sam, also owns, is the CEO of Alameda Research, who we know invest pretty heavily into a lot of crypto projects. Let's have a look at my portfolio. And it is consisting of BTC, ETH, and SOL. And this is how I've broken it down. I'll show you it in the app in just a sec. I'm, I'll use the FTX exchange data. And uh, this is the price prices that I'm buying it at. So 1st of May, we've got BTC at 57,800, ETH at 2,840, and one sol at 43 bucks. You can see here, it's now up to $43.27. So I've got 0.0692 BTC, 1.41 ETH, and 46 sol. As we've got here, if you want Blockfolio, use the link in the description. Let's have a look at it on the app now. So here is the Blockfolio app. You've seen this before on my Instagram. Now I've got ETH in here and Sol, I've already input those. Now I'm gonna add Bitcoin. We're gonna use the FTX exchange, FTX. There it is. You guys will want to, might wanna use FTX US if that's what you're doing. Price per coin I've said here is 57,800. So I'm gonna cross 57,000. 800, that was the price uh, at the close today. So the open for May 1st, close of the 30th. Quantity is going to be 0 0.0692 Bitcoin. And we're going, that's it. Oh, we're gonna change the time here. That's what I want, because I wanna make sure I'm right on the money. So this is the way I input my trades if I do them on uh, using the app and keep track of it. 10 a.m. done. And then the other cool feature here is you can update your USD holdings. If you're holding USD in your app, if you hit that button right there, then that will take the USD out of your holdings and um, show a sell order in your USD holdings. So I'm not gonna do that because I don't have USD on here, but that's pretty much the order here. We just check it again. All the details are in there correctly. Just hit save. And now that is gonna update our portfolio and show that we are now up about $58. Let's continue to track this. I'll have a look at it, say on a weekly basis, and I might update it on Instagram as well. So you guys can follow that with the link down below. We'll keep track of it. If we win $20,000, you guys get to choose which Aussie charity it goes to. If you're international, no worries. You just select whichever one you want it to go to. Uh, if we lose, we also get $5,000. So I think this is gonna be a quite a conservative portfolio. So if we do lose, we're still gonna get five grand to give away to charity as well. All right, I've also got uh, my other friends here in Australia who are also part of the competition, Justin Baldori and Ravi Sharma, who does a lot on property and is getting into the NFTs as well. Justin loves his Aussie stocks. So check out those guys and keep joining us for the challenge, Blockfolio challenge, month of May, 25 grand giving away to the charities of your choice. You know what to do, like, share, subscribe. It honestly does go a long way to helping out the channel. A lot of work put into these, so I do appreciate a like if you can spare the tap on the screen down below. I'll catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.